Happening today, the National Park Service is holding public meetings in St. Johns County. It's to get community feedback about plans to raise and rehabilitate the seawalls at the Castillo de San Marcos. It's one of two plans actually in the works to address flooding in the area. News Tech reporter Brianna Andrews tells us people in the area will have the opportunity to share concerns and ask questions tonight. The National Park Service says the seawall's traditional canina, which is the stone wall from shells, is starting to fall apart. Substantial erosion and low elevation make it the first area to flood during storms. So this plan will focus on repairing and raising that wall. This map shows the different positions of the wall and how they will be addressed. Now, keep in mind, this project is different from the Florida Department of Transportation's plan that would address a seawall along the A1A and the Bridge of Lions. FDOT says putting in a new one would better protect that area. I spoke to some local residents about how they feel about that. This is what downtown St. Augustine looked like during Hurricane Ian in 2022. Streets completely covered in water, which is nothing new for Pat Wicklin, who's lived here for the past decade. It was built on a swamp, so it's like you have to take care of that before you build the city, and now we're doing it in retrospect. Between its low elevation and erosion over the years, the seawall is deteriorating. Do you think rebuilding the seawall or revitalizing the seawall is a good idea? Yes, I do, because we've got much too much flooding going on in uh, St. Augustine, so. Wicklin is a photography instructor. Her students who also live in St. Augustine agree. It's better for the people that live here, so there's less flooding and you don't have to, like, go somewhere else, so they don't have to, like, move. It's just better for the community all together. FDOT held public meetings on its plan earlier this year, but tonight you can weigh in on the plans for the Castillo de San Marcos. There's a community meeting tonight at 6. It's at the Renaissance St. Augustine Hotel. You can also attend tonight's meeting virtually. The public comment period for the Castillo de San Marcos proposal opened last week. Written input is being accepted through July 17th. Now a second public meeting will be held in September. Details on how to some of your comments is available on newsforjacks.com. Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.